Welcome back to another vlog. Today, it's Monday, so I'm actually surprisingly starting this new vlog on a brand new week. I don't know what the week holds. I do know that I made a to-do list for this week. I did try and tackle a few things on the weekend, just like getting um, a thread match. So I have this piece of material here. I went out to the store, Nate and I tried to match it and we pretty much determined like Nate was saying like the color that you already have like the second blue color that I have on this one already is actually he's like that's a pretty good match because we couldn't find anything better than that and I was like okay so maybe I could just use the thread I have for that that one's gonna be um that issue that I was having would be resolved then and then um because that chambray fabric and like that kind of denim look cotton blue very hard to match because it's not a solid blue, so there's like light spots and dark spots in it. So that's why that one was a bit of an issue. Um, and then I started pulling materials this morning um, because I just wanted to go back over my zippers. I have one yellow one that's like a, um, I think it's copper. Yeah, it's copper. This one's the gold one. And I didn't order a brass one, which I wanted to do, but that one looks a little bit darker. I don't know where my other sample zipper was, is, sorry, because I was using these to test the other day, so I think I put the zipper in a safe place, thinking, oh yeah, I'll get it after, and then I don't remember. I just don't remember. So this is why I have a thin system in my room, and when I have zippers and elastic and stuff, it all sits in a bin, because I will not find it until like I don't need it anymore and that's okay so Monday's off to a rocky start because don't know where that zipper is and I pulled my lining fabric and I started researching online for this and I wanted to see what other things that I can get in our are available and I just I, I still think this is the best pick so it won't be as thick as I thought it would be but again, it's like, well, what do I rather have? I can get a thicker uh, lining for my bag, but then the issue is it's it's not soft, and I don't like that. I don't want to be putting my hand in a bag and it be rough. I, I love the fact that it's soft, so it means it's on the thinner side. It's not going to be as thick, but I can't find one that is like a really good medium weight that's not too heavy, but it is not rough, so I'm not willing to compromise on like the lining. I'm not willing to stick in a thicker lining, but it be rough every time you put your hand in there. So I still think I'm gonna go with that. So then I just need to order some thread. Um, usually I just order from Toronto and I get it in like the next day or two, depending on like what level of shipping I pay for. So if I want it right away, I'll pay uh, like a little bit more and then I think I get it in like a day. So I think that stuff is okay. I did get a thread match, I need to order it. I matched uh, to my bag label. So that stuff is kind of done. I just need to decide on the color of the zips. And for some reason I was like, do I go with gold? Because I just was thinking, would I go with gold or um, the darker one that I have? I wish I could show you guys. I did on another vlog, but I just, I have to find the other zipper so I can kind of see it together and um, make my final decisions on that. So by the end of this week, I need to make a final decision on the zippers, the lining, and get my thread ordered. It will be fast once it gets here. I just have to make that final call on what I wanna do about that. But I feel like <laughs> mentally, guys, this weekend, I was so, so tired, like mentally just so tired um, because I've just been pattern making. So. If you watch my previous vlog, if you haven't, you can go check it out. But I mainly was on the computer and I, it's taken like two full weeks of me just sitting on the computer, drafting patterns, crunching numbers, and then I printed it off. If you can see over here, everything on top of this sewing machine, all these papers are all ones that I printed and then I have stuck them together and I'm gonna get to cutting those. So I think, because my brain hurts so much, honestly. I'm going to um, cut these and I'll cut some with you guys. Uh, I think I'm just gonna cut some of this to get rid of the stack and then I can lay out my pattern somewhere. I don't even know how I'm gonna store them at this point, but at least they're done. 
Um, I didn't get to do a tote bag pattern because I'm still in the process of designing it. There's so many ways to make it um, that I'm kind of just like thinking, rethinking it over. I have to like visually see how I want it to look and then I can go into Adobe Illustrator and do the same thing that I did for my tote bags. I didn't make the third drawstring bag and there was like a bow tie thing that I want to make for the hair scrunchies. It's not, it's not, I don't know if it's a bow. It looks similar to something that I've shown in a previous vlog where you just like tie it on the hair scrunchie. Um, and it would only be for two of the new fabrics that I'm getting that I thought it would be good for. But again, I know, I don't know until I see the material and I get into it, but I just kind of need a, I need to do a task that's not a lot of brain power right now. And so I think I'm just gonna set everything aside because it can be very overwhelming. As much as I love designing, it can be very overwhelming to have to do all these things at once and it's a lot of decisions. And I'm already just kind of tired, I think, from just doing the math and <laughs> laying out patterns. So I think my plan just for today is to get the stuff cut up, the, the patterns cut, I mean. And then maybe tonight or tomorrow morning, go back to the sliding and stuff, order up my threads to set on that zipper, and then just be like, you know what? It's good enough. And I've really researched everything, but sometimes you just gotta like go with it and be like, it doesn't have to always forever be this way either, right? Because I mean, what I do now and make a line with zippers, I mean, it's not gonna hurt if I change and wanna be like, oh, well, I envision a bag with a gold zipper on it and it would go well with this print. I'll, I can change it up. I think that's my thing where I kind of get stuck is like, I forget that you can like, like I feel like it's, if I choose a zipper, I choose a zipper, the zipper color, I mean. And then it's like, well, wait a minute, you know, you can always change it up later. So I feel like um, frozen a bit in a state of, well, once I choose the zipper, that's it. But it's not really it because you can always design something new. Anyways, sorry for my um, ramble here this morning, but yeah, so things aren't going smoothly, but it, honestly, it never, it never is. Um, so I think I'm just going to maybe reposition the camera possibly, or maybe I'll just angle you down. I'm going to grab some patterns and try to do some cutting of them and see what I get through for that. And then we'll see, kind of see where I'm at. Okay, this may not be the best view because of the lighting and stuff, but I'm just gonna go with it because I just have to prop you up on the desk across from me. So these are all, everything you see on the table here is all the stuff that I've been working on. And so I don't even know where I wanna start, guys. Seriously, maybe I should start with the key wristlet or like the small bag or something. I'm just so... I'm kind of just so overwhelmed by tasks at the moment to do that I haven't had time to do much else. So maybe I'll start with cutting apart the toiletry bag and then just move on from there.
after lunch. I really don't know what's going on with my hair, guys. I just threw it up really quick because it was in my face. Um, I got all the patterns cut after lunch. It actually didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to be, and I actually really enjoyed it. Um, so here is my stack of all my patterns. And so I'm just going to leave them all here right now, all the pieces. And what I thought that I would do this afternoon film was these scrunchies really need to get done. These ones I have piled here. They need to be top stitched. They need a hang tag label and they need to go into the for sale bin. Oh, I also then need to take a photo and add it to the photos. So I was like, you know what? I don't have any of these to do. I'm going to go with the color that I actually have because I think it's pretty good. Um, at first I didn't think it was really good, but then after I took it out and compared what my other options were, then I figured I already had the best one for that. So I'm gonna make do with that. So I'm going to get those just um, top stitch really quick because there's not a lot of them. And then I think for the day, if I can get that done, I may go back and do um, some computer stuff. So in the afternoon, I'm going to try and see if I have time to um, like pull footage off the camera, edit some vlog stuff, and then maybe decide on um, like the lighting and stuff like that. So I will just film this last part for today and then I will catch you guys tomorrow. look what's arrived. I'm really sorry for the poor lighting, but it's been pouring rain since yesterday. It's really dark out. It's just raining right now. And also Cupcake has my table currently. So, but I didn't want to wait to film this part because this arrived and I just picked it up this morning and it's like, this is my most favorite mini fabric haul ever. I mean, it's just, I love it. It's just they're all perfect like the prints are all amazing everything about the fabric is just so beautiful i'm just going to quickly go through one by one to show you them in a second here but i just wanted to show you the stack and i will just try and reposition on this side of the room here and go through them with you okay i'm really sorry for again the lighting and the angle and everything but i really want to share these with you guys so the first print that i've Actually, I'm going to go from the bottom to the top because I really want to show you these prints. Okay, I got two in cotton and they're the same print but different colors and I just adore these prints. Like, check this out. So, I, I, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera but there's texture to this material. So, I was thinking 
about the tie-on bow on the hair scrunchie would be out of this material and out of the one I'm just going to show you in a second in the different colorway. Because cotton is more like it'll hold the structure of that bow, it's more crisp, this material, it would be perfect for that and the scale is just, it's such a great scale and it's such a great print. Even the color of it is amazing. And then I got the secondary one because obviously I couldn't make up my mind. It was like there, I had to get both. I just, you'll see. Look at how gorgeous that is. It is so pretty. So I'm not sure if they will have a bow until I get into it and, and make it, but the, all this material that I'm showing here right now, it's just for the scrunchies alone, not for the bags. And then, so I have the two cotton. And again, just so amazing. And then the next fabric out is this one. And maybe you won't be able to tell because it's rolled up, but basically um, it's very light. So it's a very light material, very like sheer material, and there's flowers on it, like the texture. There's risen flowers on it. So I just always look for that kind of stuff. I really think this is gonna make a really nice hair scrunchie. Um, it's gonna be really light in the hair, and I just love something with a good texture to it. Next up, a classic. If you've been here for a while, you've seen another print like this in cotton poplin that I wanna make into bags they were so hard to find because you i had to i have to take into like um the scale of the print so basically the polka dots i didn't want them to be too big so to get things the right color the right texture the right scale I, it was just so amazing that i found this so i love this because to me this is a timeless print that you could just wear like forever so i was very happy about that one so this one's for the hair scrunchies the other one that I previously showed, the poplin, is probably going to be some sort of bag. Um, and then the last one, this one here, it's a little ditzy print with gorgeous little pink florals on it. And I just thought like it's just so awesome. And again, it is more of a lightweight fabric and it has like a little bit of a crinkly texture to it. We'll see once I get it made up, it may show a little bit better but I can tell like there's a texture so all of these are just amazing the um this polka dot one has a texture to it as well like a crinkly texture so they all have texture to them and I'm always looking for that it's really something that I love is a good fabric like good color I'm looking at the color the scale what kind of repeat it is and all that stuff so when I'm picking them out I, I do think quite a bit about a few things um, especially because they are hair scrunchies I want that scale of the print to be able to be seen on the scrunchie um, and so I'm trying to always get something either a ditzy or a really small scale print and then it's a bonus if it has like a good coloring and a texture and all that to it so that's my little stack of fabric I'm just so pleased I'll just whoops my hands caught on a string I'll just give you another little glimpse so I will be storing these right away into my bin. The only thing that I have left of the other fabric is a little bit of the chambray material left and the chambray with the foil stars. And they can only be made into a smaller size scrunchie, which the level of difficulty on that is much harder. And even though I'm not sewing as much, like once you go to do the tube, the tube's slightly shorter. However, um, it's so like, the amount of space that you have to fold the tube inside the way that I sew the scrunchie is very limited and it's very close to my label. So the difficulty on those ones, it, it's way harder to do them. So I may mark them and cut some out and do some. I don't know if I'm going to film that or not, but probably this stuff here, we may be able to get into, I would like to say by the end of this week or beginning of next week. Um, but in all reality, I probably think that I'll start cutting into this, filming the sewing of this next week and the week after, simply because I need to get on the cards that need to go into the mailers. So, and I need to order some shipping supplies and I need to get the website done, or I feel like I'm never going to launch the store. You'll just see me on here, keep making stuff and there'll be no shop. So, um, yeah. So the reality is today... I need to put this away, need to figure out what am I doing with the mailer card that goes in the box when somebody orders something, 
and then at that point get that ordered up so that would be my goal for this week and also again i still have to make the decision about the zippers and get in my thread so honestly probably to be honest with you for this week if i get my thread ordered and just that decision done and the cards i don't like it's probably all i'm gonna get done so i'm gonna just sign off for now unless i think of something to share i'll pop back on this afternoon but i'm gonna try and and just check off like some of the boring stuff that i don't feel is very like interesting to vlog and then if i do see something or think to update you guys i will pop back on but anyways um that's it for today but i'm just so happy that the fabric is here and i mean i can't wait to like air all these prints when i go to sew them as hair scrunchies it's like a party like i'm just gonna enjoy every minute of it because they're just so gorgeous so i will sign off for now and i will talk to you guys a bit later hey i hope that you guys had a good week it's actually friday i don't know what this vlog's gonna be um usually i film monday to thursdays and then like what I was trying to also do is um, work a little bit in the later afternoons on vlog editing so that I don't have to do everything all at one go on Fridays because I used to just edit on Friday. But I'm filming today because I actually don't know, did I even get enough like footage? Did I film enough this week? I actually did work yesterday. However, I had Soren home with me. So basically a lot of the work that I did was after me came home and only when he was sleeping basically. Um, and then there was some of the time where he actually just um, kind of hanged out with me while I was tying elastics and he was doing his thing kind of in the room with me. So um, everything's good. Nobody's not unwell or anything. It's just Soren's been having a really hard time I think at school and something's going on and um, just maybe changes and stuff like that. So he spent yesterday with me and then he's just sleeping right now so I have a moment to kind of film a few things. Um, so I just thought I'd do jump on, show you what I got done yesterday, kind of do a little update of where I'm at, and then um, probably try and pull footage and edit the vlog a bit, see where I'm at, because I feel like this vlog's probably going to be really short. I had Elsa also home with me one day this week, so really, there's only been two days that the kids have been at school. Like, well, Elsa's been at school more than Zorn this week, but I mean, like, there's only two days that I've been like not have either one kid home with me basically. So that kind of changes things up, but I'm still able to get some stuff done. So, oh, so here we go. So on my wrist, you guys can see, I was wearing this one last night. I'm sorry if <laughs> I look a little bit of a wreck. I just didn't bother my hair or anything. Cause I was like, you know what? I don't have enough time. <laughs> so I just did this one here. I'm going to pull them in and show you. I made my smaller size scrunchie. This pattern piece is my smaller scrunchie that I do. Um, and I was having, if you've been watching since like the beginning vlogs, I kind of went back and forth a lot on this. It wasn't so much that I was undecided about it. I wasn't happy with it. So like, um, I won't make something just to make something. It has to be well made. And I think everything through. So I just was like, no, there's gotta be a better way to do this and I wanted it to look a certain way. I wanted it to look the same as the bigger one, just smaller. So that took some really um, thinking and working things out. So anyways, yesterday I got, um, I took the remaining fabric that I had that was left over for making the larger scrunchies of this print here and the star print, the chambray star foil. And I made the smaller ones and they are so cute. So I also wore one today in her hair, the star print smaller one. And I really wanted her to test that one out because her haircut um, is just so much shorter now. And so I thought that would be great for her hair is to wear the smaller size. And so she wore that one to school today. And let me just pull my bin here. Sorry guys, my like little makeshift office in the corner here. I started cleaning my hair a little bit yesterday, but it could be a little bit more. Could be done a little bit more. So. Um, I did these, I'm just trying to see if I'm going to show you a comparison in a second here. So then I have the one on the wrist, this one's actually mine that I was wearing, I was trying it last night. And um, so here is the small ones. So not only, like I did them start to finish completely yesterday, mind you there wasn't that much. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I didn't film this part though, the one part I didn't film was 
I had to get the fabric straight because um, for these ones, I always, if you follow along and see me make any other scrunchies, I always go with the green line. So I go from salvage to salvage. I match up with the green line, green line, sorry. And for these ones though, in order to do them, they would have to be cut on a cross grain. That does not work for every type of fabric. For example, if it's like, if I was doing a velvet, um, there's a nap to the fabric. So you have to pay attention to those kind of things. And like, if you had like a stripe, like for example, if you have a stripe and you cut and you turn your fabric on the cross grain, the stripes will be in a different direction. Like if you have a one way direction print, you have to watch out for those kind of things. But for the this fabric here, it was absolutely fine to do it. Same with the stars because they the way that they are laid out, um, the repeat itself is good. So I was able to um, trim the fabric, but I always, 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 go with the grain line because I can get myself straight. The cross grain though, I was like, I cut into the salvage, like you can pull a thread um, and that works because I was able to pull a thread, but I like usually cut into the salvage at that point and then if you go ahead and rip, it should rip on grain. Um, I had a bit more trouble with this chambray fabric. It's the way that the, the weave is, so, but it was okay. It took me some time and I'm not a fan of it. So if you see me working around, like working and cutting out my fabric and you're wondering, I like to line up with the salvage, which is the grain. I'm not really big on the cross grain, to be honest with you. It's just not my thing. I can do it. Um, and I just didn't want to waste this material. Like I didn't want it to just sit there, not necessarily waste it because I don't throw away good pieces of material. I was actually thinking if I don't use some of my material that's left over, I like some of it also takes and then some of it I need, like I can think of something to make with it or whatnot. But if not, maybe I will like start a little bucket of remnants and then eventually tie it up in a nice cute bundle, measure everything out and just sell it because maybe somebody out there makes stuff and they would love to have like the pile of fabrics that I have that kind of get left over. I don't have like a huge amount because I'm pretty good at the layout, but starting off, I know I have some leftover pieces. So um, that's something maybe I could do. In the meantime though, I'm totally off topic. Um, yeah, so here's the smaller size ones. They were a lot of work. So I did everything start to finish. I just like laid it out and used my pencil and marked it and cut them, sewed them up and everything. And I kind of got the hang of it. It was fine. So I do have to be very careful about where the label is because it's really narrow. But I want to show you a size comparison. So let's take this one. So I'm going to go with it, this one first, if you can tell. So this one is going to be called... Sorry, I'm like eating my hair. So this one's going to be called... Um, this one is a classic. And then this one's going to be small. And I actually... Um, I can tell when I go to pick them up, but even then, I actually, not only like did I make them yesterday, I made a whole new batch of labels that actually say small scrunchie on them. So like if, for example, I asked Nate to pack an order um, and somebody orders a small, it's like right, everything is descriptive like on the tags itself. So I thought that was a great idea to do that because right now I don't have like a wall of bins or something to separate them. They're all in the same bin. So yeah, so I just want to give you guys a size comparison of what, please avoid my fingers, let's see if I can do this. just want to give you a size comparison. So, and I decided to not uh, go shorter on the elastic. I decided it was a good idea to use the exact same elastic. So the elastic that's in this one is the exact same in this one. It just depends if you want less fabric. And the smaller ones also do really well if your hair is shorter or maybe you just don't want all that fabric. So um, I think it came out really cute. And then let me do a comparison of the other one as well. So here's, again, the classic scrunchie. And I think it's like, it's pretty classic. It's pretty good size. It's like, it's not too small, but it's not too big. And then... <laughs> I'm like butter fingers here and then again if you guys can see the size comparison so classic and small 
and I think it's really it's really nice. And my bin is like I just keep adding to this bin. I'll show you the bin update. It's huge. I got lots of stuff in there. Hi. Can you close the door for me, please? Thanks. So it's way later Friday night. So basically, I'm only popping on for like two minutes because we have to go out after. I picked up an order today and I thought I didn't close this vlog off. I have been editing it this afternoon when I had a chance to do a little bit of it, but mainly Soren and I just kind of hanged out and it was kind of fun. We made like, um, he wanted to make like a vending machine thing with candies and all that. So we basically um, hanged out today. So uh, when I did get a chance, I started editing a bit and I just wanted to close off this vlog. Um, it was a short week of filming for me, but that's all right. I think next week um, I'll get into some of these new materials and this weekend I'm going to try to make some orders for some, like the zippers, the material and stuff to start getting into doing the uh, toiletry bag and my small bag. So um, what I did get, it's not anything, like it's the same lining that I came today. So I think I had mentioned like I order my supplies and stuff from like Toronto so I get it the next day and literally this was packed up yesterday and I just went and picked this up and sworn about with me to the post box so it was a little adventure we took today so I got more of the lining material um this one is like a wider um it's wider like there's more material on it like I paid more for it to be wider but I thought I would try out the um bigger width so because it is just for the lining and it's the exact same as this piece here but I wanted to make sure to start with like I was thinking um maybe I won't do the book sleeves right away but maybe a few toiletry bags so I'll try that I need more of the wadding and then I ordered oops I ordered the thread I had this one off because I was just double checking um earlier I was double checking that this was the right color so I did a thread match um, color with Nate earlier in the week for the lining and then I did um, some more um, thread match here because I have um, my label so that's about it these so these are the supplies that I just got right now and that basically takes care of everything um, I'm thinking about what prints I want for the bags. I already have a few things in mind. I'm not really going to do a whole lot, like not a huge range of colors and stuff. And I was thinking about doing my own print. Um, it's kind of funny because I feel like I'm working backwards right now. I like literally years ago started in surface design and did surface prints and stuff. So I, I just, I don't know. I find fabric that I really like. And I'm like, maybe I should paint my own print or just design something. But at the same time, I don't know, that's way more scarier to me because it's like my art going on something if somebody doesn't like it. So I don't know. Um, anyways, maybe I'll design a print. If I do any of that, I will film it. Um, but as it is for right now, I think what I'm thinking is, is using the polka dot. I definitely want something pink in the mix. You guys know I love denim and a good chambray. Um, and I do want to have some form of print and I've been going with a lot of blues and beiges and stuff like that So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna stick with that because that's where I was when I was doing the hair scrunchies Mind you now I'm moving into the other prints of the hair scrunchies But I see like the consistencies of the stuff that I really like and I really hope that um, The other people will like them as well and that once I get through making this stuff posting it online that we can like people will like it and I can find all the stuff at home so um yeah that's about it so I'm gonna just wrap this up right now and probably call it quits for Friday night because I, I probably won't get anything else done maybe an order for the zippers <laughs> so I will sign off now I just want to say thank you so much for joining me again for another week if you made it to the end of the vlog thank you so much for taking your time and hanging out with me I hope that you guys had a fantastic week. Remember to hit like and subscribe and I will be back here next week and we'll get back into sewing. Um, again, if anybody like wants to leave me a comment below, if you just want to say hi, just say hi. Please feel free to say hi or 
or whatnot or if you would like to leave me drop me a comment about maybe um certain things you like to see like do you want to see more sewing um maybe that's what something i can kind of incorporate more into the vlogs so i'm just learning as i'm gonna go and i'm just winging it all so <laughs> any feedback is appreciated so basically until next week then i'm signing off and saying bye